Listen, I want to ask one more question. Listen, you cut me on listen. Let me ask one second question. I want to ask you one more question. But you don't answer my your, question, by the way. I'm you answering that question. question. Okay, so you don't answer my question. Post, post the theme. One more question. What is your ruling on anybody who curses? What is your ruling on anybody who curses Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Forget companions. Anyone who curses Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He's a kafir. He's a kafir. Yes. Rasulullah said, anyone who curses Ali curses me. Is it? Rasulullah <laughs> Prove it, prove it. I will. No, no, prove it. What is your ruling okay. if I prove it? Okay. Listen, listen, listen. Content of my everything. Yeah, yeah. So our, in regards to our definitions, I think we proved them. I think we're going to go delve into too much. Because you mentioned yeah, in the last discussion. Point. Let's go straight to the point. Yeah. You mentioned Moabia and you're quite stuck on him. So let's just clarify our position yeah, of Moabia. you mentioned him to be a Munafiq, so I'm saying... I believe him to be a Munafiq. Okay, let's go. Now prove to me why he was a Munafiq. Why he was a Munafiq. We'll go to the Hadith of Rasulullah. First of all, in regards to Moabia, all the quote that I mentioned, the, the ones that you mentioned of, of the companions, uh, of the piety of companions from the Quran, of Muhajir Ansar. Muawiyah wasn't of Mahajir Ansar, he was of the Tulaqa. The Tulaqa were those who were freed. The word Arabic Tulaqa means those who were freed by the Prophet. He was of those who fought against the Prophet up to his whole life. And then after the conquest of Mecca, when Prophet Muhammad وسلم, had complete control over everything after he went back to Mecca, then he freed Muawiyah. Yes, he was of those, he was of the Tulaqa, those who were freed. So he wasn't even of the Mahajan Ansar, yeah. which he quoted yeah, before. Yeah. It doesn't prove he's a kafir. On oh. that verse, but there's another verse that's more general to our, to our Sahaja. Which ones? Yeah, there's many. many. Alright, in regards to Mahajan Ansar, but he was. There, but I, so my I never mentioned is, that. We're going to prove Muawiyah was, was a Manafiq. Yes, that's my on, point. So that was the first thing. Then, he had an entire war with Imam Ali. Alayhi salam. I would like to ask you, but when we had that discussion here before, we said anyone who rejects Khulafa Rashidin. No, point number one. And anyone who curses Sahaba, you said to me he was a kafir. I said, according to your conditions, Mu'abiya is a kafir. Because not only did he fight against uh, uh, the Khulafa Rashidin, which means he rejects Imam Ali, which is your fourth Khulafa Rashidin, he also cursed Imam Ali. So according to your two conditions here, he's a mon he's not Muslim. I would like you to clarify your position there and see what you have to say in regards to that. He took an entire war against him. He put the Quran on a spear in that war, at the end of the war. Now, does Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa have any hadith regarding this battle? Yes, he does. In Bukhari, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says to Amr bin Yasir, the pious companion, he says, Oh Amr, you will be killed by a Baghi group, a rebellious group. Amr bin Yasir will be calling them towards Jannah. And they, the people who killed Amr bin Yasir will be calling them towards Jahannam, Hellfire. This is the Jahannam, Hellfire. So this is where we would say that this, who killed Amr bin Yasir now? Are you aware of who killed him? Muawiyah, in Safin. In Safin, the, you, have a, you have a tradition. Muawiyah himself? You have a tradition in which he was the leader of the war. In the tradition from the Malik's uh, Muslim Ahmed bin Hanbal, you have a tradition in which two companions came with the head of Amr bin Yasir, and I'll give you this tradition, with the head of Amr bin Yasir, both coming to Muawiyah, look, we killed him, and they were fighting over who had his head. I'll give you this tradition as well. It doesn't really resemble, it gives you a lot of resemblance to certain groups in the Middle East, you know who they are. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep going. Then, after he had the entire war, and his hadith applies to him, what happened later on? He cursed and he killed Sahabi, which was Sahabi Rasulullah. Hujr bin Athir Kindi. He said to Hujr bin Athir Kindi, that he said, curse Imam Ali. He said, I will not curse Imam Ali. He killed him. Yes, he killed him. Shukran. He finished. killed him. The then he killed several of the companions. And the last thing he done in his life, what did he do? He gave the Khalafat to his son Yazid. When it was a peace treaty between him and Imam Hassan alayhi salam, that the Khalafat would go to Imam Hussein. What did he do? He gave it to Yazid. I would like you to go step by step. Every single point I mentioned. These are points which clearly show he was a monarchic. 
clearly show he was a Munafiq. This is the stance that we Shia take to prove that Muawiyah was a Munafiq. So, from beginning to end, please. Couple of claims. Number one, you said that when I said that anyone who curses a Sahabi is a Kafir, I established this from the Quran and from the Sunnah that they are Adi. And this, we had this discussion, we have to go back to it. But yes, anyone who curses a Sahabi. From the scholars, not from, from the Quran and anyone who, is, who Anyone who curses a Sahabi whom Allah, by Tawfiq Am and Tawfiq Khas, a general praise and a specific praise, which is found from the Quran and from the Sunnah, anyone who comes says differently, anyone who comes says differently from that, yes, he's going against the Quran and the Sunnah, which makes him a Kafir. Now, you never established, now, we are not discussing. That whether or not Mawa is a Munafir. So I said to you, so is that, your claim that, that anyone, anyone I'm getting there, anyone who curses a Sahabi yeah. whose ad is established is going against the Quran. Every again, we had this, 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 this no, that's your claim. discussion. No, that's your claim. You, you are disputing. That's your claim. Now again, I'll let you speak, now let me speak. Okay, let's, let, anyway. let finish, let finish. So you obviously have a dispute with our definition of who's a Sahabi, no problem. Let's say for argument's sake that you're right and we're wrong, but we're saying that from our perspective, anyone who met the Prophet died upon Islam and we take his narration, he is ad by the Ijma and by the Quran and by the Sunnah and from Aql itself. So now, anyone who curses a Sahabi, yes, he's a Kafir. You curse, yes, a you, yes. you curse Muawiyah. We consider Muawiyah to be Al. So therefore, according to Al Sunnah, TV, you, yeah. Yeah. so we don't have so to we go know there. What yeah. About. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now, second thing you mentioned about that Muawiyah, he put the Quran on his spear. Yes. Okay. Again, this is narration. You see one step thing. Step by step. step. Could you go to the first point? Tolaka. What was that? He was not of the Mahajan Tawi, he was not of the, the Mahajan Tawi. Okay, now, again, like I said to you, yeah, the ayat that we established, the ad, is not just from the, 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 uh, the ayat that Allah says, It's not just from those. We have other ayat, I can bring them up, where Allah speaks about all the believers, generally speaking, in the good sense. Yes, yeah, 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 we don't establish the Ad only from the Quran, we do from the Sunnah. We have hadiths from the uh, authentic books where Muhammad وسلم, he speaks well about Mawiyah. For example, there's a hadith where he mentions about... Can you about references please? Before you go Mawiyah. to the extra points, Zain, listen. could you just clarify? I let, I, let, I, mean. I let you speak I will. and I didn't interrupt you. Careful. So now please don't interrupt me. Go for it, go for like it. I said to you, when we say that Mawiyah is Ad, we have good reasons to say it's Ad. Why is that? We have hadiths, our books, and even in your books. I will give a few of them. For example, there's a hadith in our books, authentic, which states that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He says is a is a prophecy. He says the first army to conquer to attack Constantinople will be forgiven, and that army was led by Muawiyah. That's a prophecy. Second prophecy, we have another hadith when Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He takes Hassan radiallahu an and he says. This son of mine, and he, speak, and, he, and he says, this son of mine will be the means of reconcil reconciliation between two groups of Muslims. Yeah? So now, did that happen? Between, now, what all happened hadiths. between... Could you give references to God? All hadiths. This is all hadiths for now. For now, so yeah? it's your hadiths. Not, now, it's not proof of let's me. go from your hadiths. Let's see what your hadith says. But you're not responding to my points. We, no, no, I'm getting this slowly. The whole slowly, point of a discussion slowly. is that you respond to my points and then you bring your own as, as, as a rejection. Same. That's, you made a couple of claims. I'm it's fine. answering you step by step. Okay? You can, but I would after, like you after, to... after the cursing bit, I explained to you that anyone after Sahaba, I'm not talking about the Sahaba cursing each other. The Sahaba are human beings. Yes, they sometimes. Why do they get a level the of Sahaba, that they don't get? Because the Sahaba are not on our level, Zayn. Okay. Yeah, the Sahaba I'll are human to that beings. Claim as well. I'll let we you don't believe. The way you believe of the Ahl Bayt that they were kind of I'll super infallible. Sorry, sorry, I apologize. We don't say they were I shouldn't have interrupted you. Please okay, anyway, yeah, sorry. So the Sahaba having ikhtilaf amongst each other is normal. So if one Sahabi curses another Sahabi, we say this is something between them, and it's not for us to come say, oh look, he cursed, therefore he's a kafir. No, this is between them, they're human beings. Quran and so, Again. I don't again, want your own interpretation. Don't interrupt me. Apologize. Like I said to you, yeah? Okay, sorry. So we're establishing now, you made you made the claim that Muawiyah was a munafiq, yeah? Again, let's see what uh, let's see what Ali said. Are you with Ali or with Muawiyah? Ali, Ali. <laughs> okay. Now, in the book of Shias, Ali himself establishes the ad of the Sahaba. Okay, especially who Abu Bakr, Uthman, uh, and uh, Umar. Or Muawiyah, we're talking about Muawiyah here. I will get to Muawiyah as well. 
But no, we you okay. came up to me. You said the discussion okay, was on Moabia. Okay, you don't want to talk about we that. We can't secondarily. Okay, that's but fine. But our discussion fine. was on Moabia. That's fine. Let's look at Moabia. Please stick to okay. Moabia. He said in sermon 120 in Ajabalaga, he said this: We now had to fight our brothers in Islam because of entry of misguidance and crookedness and doubts and wrong interpretation into it. However, if we find any way by which Allah may collect us together in our disorder and by which we may come near to each other in, to in whatever common remains between us, we would accept it and would give up everything else. Who is he so now, to? Again, who, was, who was that, that directed to? Jamal and Safin or Nahrawan? He's saying about the Battle of Safin. About Safin, does about it say that? Safin. It's about Safin, yeah. Where? Well, you can check out yourself in yeah. 120. It says we had to buy a Where is it referring yeah, the, to Safin? The brothers, the brothers. Yeah, he's talking about the Mawiyah here. How do you know he's talking about Safin? Zain, I'm saying to you, if you want to go and check that out yourself, go and check out yourself. No, no, you said that's about Safin. I'm just this, asking. This, it might be, but I'm just asking. Measure, this, this hadith is talking about Safin. If you want to. Okay? okay. So anyway, this is more. Let's see. He said again, Oh Allah, save our blood and their blood. Produce reconciliation. Yeah, this is Psalm 2 or 4. He said, save our blood and their blood, produce reconciliation between us and them and lead them out of their misguidance so that he who is ignorant of the truth may know it and he who inclines towards rebellion and revolt may turn away from it. So it's very clear, when Ali is calling the other side our brothers in Islam, would he have said that if he thought the mother was a, was a munafiq? Yes or no? That's the thing. You have to now think and use your reasons, eh? Is that, did Ali, who you believe was ma'asoom, he couldn't do any mistakes. He never did any sins according to you. Would he have said that if Muawiyah was a, was a munafiq? Second thing, you mentioned the hadith of Amr ibn Yasir. When Muhammad Sallallahu mentioned that he would be killed by the Baghi group, yeah? One of them would call towards the hellfire, the other one would call towards Jahannam. Not one of them. The one Amr ibn Yasir was fighting yes. would call, them, would call yes. Amr ibn Yasir towards Jahannam. Yes, so Amr ibn Yasir would be calling people towards Jannah and the other side would be calling people towards Jahannam. Jahannam. Okay, so now, what is the understanding of this? Now, we have to understand, in this hadith, we believe, yeah, we believe from this hadith that this is clear-cut proof that Muawiyah was upon the wrong and Ali was upon the haq. But what did, what did the ulama mention about the way they understood this, this concept about calling? No, no, we say this, yeah? That's what he said. Listen to this, yeah? Carry on. Listen to this. We say that when a mujtahid does ijtihad and he is wrong, he receives what? Two rewards. If he's wrong, sorry, if he's wrong, he gets one reward. If he's right, he gets two rewards. So why have you got reward so I'm for saying, writing Imam I'm Ali saying, in your traditions? Look, I'm saying, look, we have to understand. Allah. You get yeah. reward for writing Imam Ali in your traditions. Relax, 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 relax. Baba, listen, they're Someone, human beings. We said we used to love listen, They were human beings. They were human beings. That's relax. love, that's love. Relax, so relax, don't get emotional. No, no, okay. it's, an look, it's, an it's an emotional topic. Don't get emotional. You don't get emotional. You said, 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 whether or not was a munafiq based upon this. You're using this hadith yes. to say that he was a munafiq. Now I'm saying is this. Now the way... Can, can, I, can I ask you one question? Wait, 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 let him finish, wait, let him finish, wait, let, him finish. Let, let him finish. Let him have his whole time for the, all the points. The I'm way finished. the ulama understand this hadith, the way they explained it, is that what Amr bin Yasir meant here is that when you fight the ruler of your time, this is calling towards Jahannam, yes. When you fight, when you fight, the ulama explained this, that what is... It's talking about is things that lead towards Jahannam. So, what yeah? is the word Jahannam? So, we believe that yes, fighting the ruler, when you fight the ruler in Islam, not it's any haram. Ruler, not any ruler. Any ruler. Khulafa Khulafa Rashidin. Rashidin. Even Khulafa Rashidin. Yeah. Even Khulafa Rashidin. Not even, they're higher. Even, even, even the Khulafa Rashidin. Yeah. But even, we can say yeah. other rulers. Ali is different to other have, rulers. Listen, we have yeah. even other hadith where Muhammad yeah. said, obey the ruler. Even if he beats you, Let he takes your wealth, he takes points. your property, fine, fine. obey the ruler. So Let we know in points. Islam, it is not allowed to rebel against the ruler. So what Muawiyah did was wrong. Now Muawiyah, when this happened, when Amr, Amr bin Yasser was, was killed, Shaheed, obviously Shaheed, they knew. Shaheed. When he was Shaheed, yeah. Shaheed. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, we believe that, by the way, yeah, that both of them were Muslims. Both are Shaheed. That's Shaheed, yes. Because yeah, they were wrong, even though they were wrong. Yeah, even though they were wrong. You don't, they not you don't have to. They were wrong? Listen. Even though they were wrong? Let me finish. Muawiyah was wrong. Let me finish. Amr Yasi was on Let me finish. Again, you listen, uh, Zain. You agree, yeah, that when we ex extrapolate evidences from the Sunnah, we don't just take one hadith and make it specific. We take all of them, but this and then is we a specific wait, individual. Wait, wait. I'll like let you finish all your points. Like I'm, not gonna, you, I'm not going to interject until the end. We have hadiths with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He mentions 
that Muawiyah was a Muslim, that Ali mentions in your books that he was a Muslim. So if you want to say based upon this hadith that he was a Manafiq... Show me each one. As you go along. Respond to all my points first. So again, I showed the Najib Al-Aga your own books. What well, Ali himself said was the fight of brothers in Islam. So Ali is saying we fought our brothers Sabine. in Islam. Say okay, that's no problem. No problem. Carry on. No problem. He said also. You want our books or just your books? Your books. Our books, yeah. About the virtues of Muawiyah. No, no. I want it from our books. Your books. Yeah. I, I just gave you. I Actually, said that Ali mentions that Muawiyah, the, the, the people of okay. Safin from that side, were Muslims. Yeah, they're brothers. Right. Otherwise, you didn't say they were Muslims. Otherwise, he would not that's call fine, them that's brothers that's in Islam. Fine. So okay. you've given a letter okay. from Najib al okay. saying that he said that they're brothers, yeah? Yes. Okay. So you know when you look at any subject, Najib al you have to look at, if you don't look at someone's life and what they're viewing someone, you look at all the letters, so? Yes. When you, look at, when you look at evidence, you look at everything, right? Yes. Why don't you look at the other letters that Imam Ali sent to Muawiyah? Hmm? That's Let's okay. quote. Yeah. So, Imam Ali, when he writes this letter to Muawiyah, yeah, he's talking about this. Let's say, what will you do with the coverings of this world in which you are wrapped, removed from you? Let me just give the reference first. Letter 10 in Najib al The world attracted you with its embellishment and deceived you with its pleasure. It called you and you responded. It led you and you followed it. It commanded you and you obeyed it. Shortly an informer will inform you of things against which there will be no shield. Therefore, keep off from this aware and take heed of the accounting for the day of judgment and get ready for death that will soon overtake you. And do not give your ears to those who have gone astray. Because you are a man living in ease and luxury, Shaitan has taken you in his clutches, brother, yeah? Has secured his wishes in you and has taken complete control of you like your soul and blood. Let's carry on. Oh Muawiyah, where were you, where were you all protectors of the rule and guardians of the affairs of the people without any forward step or constructed distinction? We seek Allah's pr protection against the befalling of previous misfortunes. And I warn you, lest you continue being deceived by desires. Now watch this. You have called me to war. Better to leave the people on one side. Come out to me and spare both parties from fighting. He goes, let's do a one-on-one. -on -one. What's all this? You have your army. Let's have one-on-one. -on -one. And he goes, uncovered. I'm Abul Hassan, who killed your grandfather, your brother, your uncle, <laughs> by cutting them to pieces on the day of Badr. He's calling, yes. he's reminding them of the kufar yes. mushrikeen relatives that he had. Yes. Is that allowed for a Muslim to do? Okay, the same sword is with me. And I meet my adversaries with the same heart. Mama Ali is the same. It's Muawiyah who's the changed one. I have not altered the religion, nor put up any new prophet. I am solely treading on that way highway, which you had been willingly forsaken in the beginning and then adopted, adopted per force. Jabba, adopted yeah. per force. Let me explain this to you yeah. what, what this means. Adopted per force, meaning you adopted the religion by force. When the sword was on your neck, you said, La ilaha illallah, I'm Rasulullah. Rasulullah, I'm a Muslim now. And you put him in the same daraja as the Sahabi? Ajib, what kind of definition okay. do you have of Sahabi? Can I, can Let's carry on. The khutbah's not finished because you quoted. Okay. You think you have come out seeking to revenge Uthman's blood? Certainly, because you obviously use Najib Allah as, as hujjah. Let's use it. Certainly, you know how Uthman's blood was shed. If you want to avenge it, avenge it there. Imam Ali is saying, you know who shed it, it's not us. So why are you wasting your time? It is as though as if I see when war is cutting you and as though I see your party bewildered by the striking of swords, falling of bodies and calling towards the Quran, although they themselves are either unbelievers, deniers of truth, or breakers of allegiance or swearing it. Stop right there. Stop right there. I want to ask you a question now. Mm -hmm. That last hadith that you uh, read, yeah? Letter. That letter, sorry. Do you accept that Muawiyah, radiallahu an, when he went out to Sifin? It's funny you saying radiallahu an. Radiallahu an, I will say alayhi salam. No problem. We love Mashallah. Say Allah Allah Muhammad. That's fine. Your guys are there. Your guys are there. We love the Ahlul Bayt and we love the Sahaba. You want to hate them? That's up to you. On the Yom Qiyamah, you'll answer for it. No problem. That's fine. Now, do you accept that Muawiyah radiallahu an, when he went to Sifin, he was not Muslim? No problem. 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 And if you want to know about Uthman's blood in the same Najib Al-Aga, he quotes the Imam Ali and clearly says, you wait, have nothing to do wait, with Uthman's blood wait, and you're using wait. it as a, pre as a false pretext. Let's go to Let's go to Wait, 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 wait. wait. Do, you, do you accept, do you expect, accept that just from reading that alone, that Muawiyah, Mu'aw Muawiyah, he went with the intention to get Ali to catch the killers of Uthman, yes or no? False pretext. False Imam pretext. Ali just said it. Listen, Imam listen, Ali just said false pretext. False pretext. I'm he's saying, lying. He's I'm lying. Wait, 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 w
did Muawiyah go to Sufin in order to get Ali to catch the killers of Uthman or did he go, as you claim, that he wanted to Imam fight the Khilafah. Imam Ali claimed. Imam Ali claimed. He just claimed it right now. That he went for what? Why? False pretext. False pretext. You have nothing to do what with it. What does it mean? False pretext. You don't know what it means. What does it mean? False pretext means. Let me explain what it means. False pretext means. So why is it right? When you use something and you don't really believe in it. And using Osman's And what? Excuse. And what? And what? And what was the thing that he was hiding? The real reason. Can I help you, bro? In all fairness, let me help you. Help him out, please. The, the Sunni oh, help me, me, help him. No, I'm gonna help you. As well. He doesn't need help. He just destroyed you. Help me. He just destroyed you. Destroy me for what? Did you feel yourself? Never really helped you. Did you feel yourself? Never really helped you. you, you, really you. Really you. False pretext. Yeah. yeah. Imam Ali said it. Imam Ali said it. Imam Ali said it. Okay. Okay. Imam Ali said it. Now, why is the right right pretext? Explain to me. There is no right pretext. It's false. He's lying. Say it. It's a false war. Why? The judge said it. Gone. In all fairness, help the brother as well. Sunnis generally, they admit that Mahdi was Mahdi and he was wrong for finding this. Yeah, but I'm understanding what, what the was his claim. No, 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 I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Relax. I'm saying is this, yeah? Finish all the points. Just, just a demand to me. Just a demand to me, because it's very important. Wait, 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 the blood of Uthman was spilled and Muawiyah used that as a false pretext to white fight war against Imam Ali. He used that to secure his position because he was the governor of Sham. The minute Imam Ali became Khalif, the first thing he was was get off the chair, you're dismissed. Imam Muawiyah didn't like it. What did he say? Shaheed al-Uthman. He used his blood to, to Baghi, to rebel. But his real reason was not the blood of Uthman. He did not care. That's, and what does Imam Ali say? That's what you claim. That's, that's what Imam Ali claims. That's why we're Shia Imam Ali. Claim. Yeah. Then you have recalled my position with Zavis Uthman. And, it, and this is a matter and answer is due to you now because of your kinship. So now tell me, which of us, which of us was more inimical towards Uthman? And who did more to bring about his killing? And who, may, and who offered him his support? But he made him sit down and stopped him. And who was he whom he called for help? But who turned his face from him and drew his death near him until his fear overtook him. Bro, all you're saying. I'm, all I'm saying is what I'm only saying to Muawiyah. All, 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 all you're saying. All you're saying. All you're saying. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, all it, all no. you're saying. I have no problems with that. That's fine. Oh, you do. You no, said no, no, you're no, avenging no, no, him no, no, I'm saying. I'm saying. We. I mean, look. If you want to deny based upon that, that uh, Muawiyah. Do you still that he went out. Do you actually not know that Muawiyah was using his position? Do you not know that? I'm saying. Listen. If you want to say that his intention. If you're saying that his intention was what? not to go out for the sake of Uthman. That's, the That's your That's whole point. That's your claim. We know the whole battle took place. Wait, I'm going to give the biggest, bro, biggest, bro, wait, wait, relax. biggest proof of bro, the subject. Bro, 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 listen. I'll let you speak. I'll let you speak. You're saying, I'm saying to you that the, the evidences that suggest that Safin took place as a result that the reason why Muabba didn't give his bayah to Ali was because he made the condition. He said, I will give bayah to you. And we have this in our books, clear cut, where Muabba himself admits that Ali is more superior than him. It makes clear, that's a, that's a, crystal that's clear. Anyone can say wait, that. wait, wait, so wait. That's obvious. This is your books. You don't have to accept it. No problem. That's we have obvious. crystal Obviously, clear yeah. narrations where people come up to Muabba and said, do you think you're better than Ali? He said, he could, I am no one to compare to Ali. Did he curse he was, Ali? Huh? Did he curse Ali? Again, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. You we'll say that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Anyway, anyway Baba, listen, we don't say that they were perfect. So now a minute ago, we don't say we don't say we don't say Muawiyah was perfect. Can I ask you one question? Wait, let me finish. Let me okay. finish. Go, let me finish. We don't say Muawiyah was perfect. We don't say none of the Sahaba were perfect. Yeah? Please, please, Everyone was fallible. Everyone so, could so, make mistakes. So. I'm saying the reason behind Safin was because Uthman, after he was killed, unjustly. Let me ask you a question. Give us references. What? We would like references to show that Uthman was really, that uh, Muawiyah was really trying to avenge Uthman's death. Please give us references. Okay, one quick proof on this. Give us references. When Muawiyah became, no when Muawiyah took power afterwards, you listen, know when it might... Listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. Forget this. Even if you were to take this as a virtue, it's still not worth it. There's no authentic tradition in virtue of Muawiyah. In fact, Badr bin Ayini, the guy who was the Shah of Saint Mahdi, and even Imam Nasai, Nasai got killed because when he was asked to him, Give me for that Muawiyah. Give, give me for that Muawiyah. They killed him. That I can't give you anything except that the fact that the Prophet said fact, about him fact, that fact, he will eat fact, and eat and eat in, and he will in, never get full. In, in fact, within the Salafi movements themselves, for example, the Hasbun Tahrir movement, yeah. they consider Mahdi to be a deviant and they call themselves Salafis. So good. the thing is, I think they, Mahdi himself, the personality, yes, he's, oh. there's a big question mark in Mahdi. Yes. So nobody, now, can, nobody can deny that. Now, this is, this this is, is yeah, you're right. This is historical fact. This is a historical fact. Name me one Salafi scholar who didn't admit that Mahdiya was wrong for what he did. Well, exactly. I never said Mahdiya was right. So what? I'm, no, 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 no. It's the hard. Listen, listen. He said it's the hard. Listen, listen. What, what, what is the position? What is the procedure when a Muslim is unjustly killed? Explain to me the the procedure. 
you have to go through a court system and everything. That's the normal. Exactly. No, no, you don't start exactly. winning war, exactly. taking a revenge. Hold on, hold on. Who does kiss ass? Who takes I want to go to one good, I want to go point. to one hadith. Who does it? The family, yeah? The family. His family, so it's his cousin. Wait, wait, okay. His family, his family, his family came to Mawia for retribution. Show me, show me. Who didn't show me? Show me. Oh, it's in our books. Show me in your books. Show me in your books. Show, show you now? Maavi, Maavi okay. stood outside in the listen, outskirts when Afman was being listen, killed. Listen, yeah. listen. And then when he was finally killed, wait, then wait, he came wait, inside. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. No, no, he doesn't need to show a reference. He's right. In the books, it does say that one of the excuses offered, they say yeah. that basically Maavi wanted to seek revenge yeah, for his for family. Smart murder. But yeah. That's the truth is, you know, at the end of the day, this I think, I think, I think, I think what you guys are. Uh, uh, I would like to mention one point. I would just like to mention one point. No, no, let me just mention one point. I haven't spoken for some time. One second. Can I just mention one point? You, the hadith you accepted. <laughs> one hadith. The hadith said those who will be calling Amr bin Yasir, those who will be calling Amr bin, Yasir, Amr bin Yasir to hellfire. Yeah, things at least was hellfire. The extrapolation that you things, took from things that. Things at least was the hellfire. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. He said Fighting they will be. No, no, no. Ruler, yes. The hadith the says the they will be calling him towards hellfire. Yes. From the, what you followed on from that was to say that he received reward. Is that what you're saying? That's, it, you're that's your conclusion. Yes. So that's the hadith. So I just yes. want to get two things straight. Yes. That's the why, hadith. Why no, do no, I say that? Let me, let me make one thing The I hadith say says he will be calling them towards hellfire yes. and you accept him Muawiyah. And what you extrapolate from that is yes. he was receiving reward yes. from it. Because Nabi Muhammad, I would like to make sure Muhammad, that everybody here Muhammad, understand that that's Nabi your claim. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when a mujtahid does an ishtihad and he gets it right, he gets two That's rewards. Okay. If, he, if he gets it wrong, he gets one reward. Now okay, when wait, yeah, when Muawiyah went out in Sifin, he was doing ijtihad on the basis of Qisas, that he wanted retribution for the killers of Uthman. So Ali, who was a mujtahid, he said, listen, he knew that the people who were behind the killing of Uthman were amongst his army. He wanted to wait to catch all of them at the same time. Muawiyah said, no, I want them now. Ali, because he was more far-sighted, he was more kind of, uh, I would say, no problem, that he was more kind of, uh, more, had more hikmah than Muawiyah on this. Uh, that's fine, yeah. We believe but, that he was more superior. Regardless of your interpretation, so, bro. So he, regardless where, of your interpretation. Uh, no, this, is, listen, this, this is not only in interpretation for me, this is how in our history before. Regardless of your interpretation, you accepted the hadith. So you of, know that's of, not the real reason. Ahmad bin Yasser. You already accept that's not the real reason. Two Muslims which, fight. which hadith? Yeah. If two Muslims fight, two yeah. Muslims make fight. peace Both between them. Make a separate issue. Yeah. If two Muslims fight, Buhari very clearly says if two Muslims fight, both of them are in fight. Mm. Yeah, there's a hadith, so hadith in there. Hadith yeah, there's a hadith in there, there as well, yeah. That killing a Muslim is kufr. And besides, Allah says in the Quran that when two parts of believers fight, make, make, peace. make peace between yeah. them, yeah. and the one who transgress, fight them. You know yeah. So, yeah. so listen, yeah. Yeah. So, two, yeah, so listen, two two believers fighting doesn't necessitate that one is a kafir and one is. He does when it's Imam Ali, Yeah. Now the reason why you that's say a believer. Oh, God, the, reason, about Imam Ali why, the reason why you that's say that the reason why this whole thing goes back to the Imam of Ali. No, it's not. This, this no, no, whole, it's called Farah Shadin. It's called Farah Shadin. It's nothing listen, to do with Imam. So the brother mentioned something earlier, and he said, "Look, if two that there was a, an issue, a dispute, and the Prophet said resolve this matter to each other, okay, and he said, um, you know, if, if you do something right, you get two rewards. Yes. If you do something wrong, you'll get one reward." This particular narration, anyway, is actually not Sahih. By all means, when you get a chance, when you get a chance, do look into it. But the thing is here, this is it's, it's, it's incorrect. Let me explain to you why it's incorrect. As you said earlier, this would relate to matter of, of fiqh. But even then, it's, there's no certainty. Because in fiqh, you can also always have different opinions. But what will take you out of the fold of Islam are certain acts of disbelief. You understand? Yes. Like as you say, you believe shirk will make you a kufr. Killing somebody is also the recompense is hellfire because the Quran yes. is very clear. They say anybody who kills, kills a believer intentionally, he was a hellfire. Yes. So it, it means that's here, an, is that an old belief? It means here that if two people, if one claims to be a Muslim, I mean, say it. Say, say, just, you understand my point? Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but look, look, I mean, can I just finish my point? Yeah, go on. Sorry. Sorry, I just want to finish my point. So if there's two groups of people, one both claim to be Muslim, one kills the other one. Both of them cannot be in, in heaven. Exactly. One is going to be in hellfire and the other one is going to be in hellfire. Yes. 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 The yes. hadith on Sayyid Muslim, the one you're talking about, that two parties of believers, in defense for that, what they, the excuse they offer here, they claim that that part of the tradition which says um, the, uh, anybody who kills a believer intentionally is in hellfire, they believe the hellfire part is an addition in the hadith. Even though the Quran 
been very clear about it. Yes. Now the thing me. is, what Mario did, if his intention was to seek the death of this one, why, yeah, you know, uh, why didn't he take legal, legal action? He could have went to even more needs. He could have taken the whole well, thing. Why, did, why didn't he punish why didn't he take, his own When he became Khalif, when, when Muawiya became Khalif, he did. This whole, he did. What? He did. We have we have we have we have narrations. No, he did not. We have we have narrations in. We have narrations in both. He must have grabbed it. We have narrations in our books which states that he had few people killed in Egypt. People were killed in 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 Iraq. We have it. We have that there. But the actual killer of Uthman, no, we don't know who it was. I want to make a beautiful point here. It's very interesting. I know this. When we discuss with people of other schools, they also bring up the objection. They say that. You know, why do uh, Shias are to be blamed for killing Imam Hussein? I'm sure this was the intention to be one of the leaflets, right? Who killed Hussein? Yeah, who killed Hussein, right? So, oh, that's okay. you and the leaflet. Okay. That's, you. that's yours. That's yours. Oh, that's yours. No, no, but listen, that leaflet anyway, that, that leaflet, who killed Hussein? That particular leaflet obviously addresses present day Shias to be responsible mm -hmm. for killing Imam Hussein. No, so, in the same way, in the same way, wow. in the same way, in the same way, what would you say about all those who didn't come to the help of Islam? Why was Islam killed? Would we help all the Sahaba accountable for allowing Islam to be killed? It's just, it's just a question. No. Yes, it's a valid question. But I mean, I mean uh, valid. look, even, even, even it's it's valid. Valid. because they're trying to say yeah. they apply on Imam Hussain yeah. yeah. and Yazid. Why don't you apply the same methodology on Uthman's death? Yeah. That we would all the Sahaba. Forget what Mavi did. Look what Mavi did afterwards. He pointed his son. He went directly against the, the treaty, the, the treaty. sunnah of yeah, exactly. Hussain. The, 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 the treaty That's with Imam Hussain. What, what did he do? And now the, the, the biggest proof of Muawiyah's hate for Imam Ali because the Sunni brothers and especially the Salafi brothers, they defend Muawiyah till the death. Sunni scholars tend, back in the day tended to be a bit light on Muawiyah yeah. and they knew about Muawiyah's stance. It's the Salafi position who pushes Muawiyah. Not all, because not of, all, not, not all. all not but all generally, all. they do have this bogus against Imam Ali. So the point is, is that when they do that, when, Imam, when, when, when Muawiyah did what he did, afterwards with Imam Ali, when he cursed, the, the biggest evidence to find out if he hated Imam Ali was a Sahabi called Khujar bin Adi. Anyone who wants to go research this, just find out how Khujar bin Adi was Shaheed. He was killed on the orders of Muawiyah, who said, if you do not curse Ali, I will kill you. Uh, but that, I tell you the reference, I tell you, yeah, it's in, if, you, if you look at Ibn Khatib, uh, Baha'i and Baha'i, it's also an English publication. You write in the, the style where he does mention yeah, I know, this. I know, I've uh, read a few narrations that, that, that he allowed. It's not even a narration, it's history. No, I've used uh, Marwan. Uh, no, no, no Marwan. No, no, no. It's, it, uh, it, basically, look, there were, there were certain individuals who were considered as Sahaba. Technically, there were Sahaba of the Prophet who were killed by Osman. But the thing is, again, they would try to offer in a defense to say, well, we don't really consider those individuals to be I'm Sahaba. Saying, but like, for example, yeah. like Khalid, like yeah. Khalid bin Murid killing Malik bin Nur. They excuse him, they say it's the hard. Yeah, they say every, exactly. The Sunni concept is every time a Sahabi does wrong, it's the hard, he gets reward. So, now watch this. Who does it's the hard? Arm the common person on which they hit. So what? Bro, so what? Bro, listen. No, no, no. Who no, does no, 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 You're not scholars. Who derives Islamic law? You, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's fair yeah, yeah. enough. Yeah. Who derives Islamic law? Look, look, look. Let's, no, let me let's, answer the question because you said it's the hard. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's stick to Mawia rather than. This is Mawia. This is Mawia. Look, look. This is Mawia. We, we, we are trying to establish whether Noma was was a Now. So now I'm gonna make a point. Let me get this. Do you, do you accept? That a munafiq is taking you're saying that he was a Catholic, he was a Muslim, right? Yeah. Munafiq. Would why did Hassan give bayat to you? He didn't. Ajib, now you want to sign off. Ajib. He didn't. Why you why did you why did you run away from Why did you run away from Safin? No, no, because no, because no, no, listen. It's very important. It's very important. No, no, it's very You say he's not. He didn't. He didn't give bayat to him. Are you sure? No, 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 no. No, 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 it's very important. Bro, it's very important. Is it allowed? Is it allowed? Even if I prove different subjects. Guys, 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 guys. I proved that he fought him. What's the difference? And that's not gonna be if Muawiyah was a kafir, is it allowed to give bayat to kafir or not? Wait, wait, wait. Is it allowed? Is it allowed to give bayat to a kafir or not? Is it allowed? Uncle, I'm that old. Would you say uncle? Okay. Is it allowed to give bayat to a kafir or not? Is it allowed to give bayat to a kafir? Suddenly, he remembered Imam Hassan and Muawiyah. Okay. Muawiyah, done. Muawiyah, you say he got reward for fighting Imam Ali, sir. I'm saying that he done Ishtihad. No, 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 you, you said I'm he saying, got reward. I'm saying he got Ishtihad. Now, who does Ishtihad? Yes. Um, every claim I'm going to get. A Mujtahid. Is Muawiyah a Mujtahid? Yes. Show me. Proof. <laughs> Abdullah bin Masood is a Mujtahid. <laughs> Abdullah ibn Abbas is a Mujtahid. When did Muawiyah become Mujtahid? What is a Mujtahid? Mujtahid is a person who derived Islamic law. Can you derive? Are you a Mujtahid? He's right. He's right. He's right. I tell you why he's right. In all fairness, he's right. They believe all the Sahaba are Mujtahid. So even if they do something wrong, you could say, 
they're still getting a reward for it. So, exactly. it's, it's not, so not, yeah, yeah. This, this is, oh, this is the point we're tackling. Point. But the thing is, now that, that, that issue is yeah. problematic for him to accept, for many because, reasons. Yeah. He shouldn't accept that, I'll tell you why. He shouldn't accept that because then we could say, well, when Aisha hit herself, when the Prophet sort of passed away, she'd hit the heart. That is what they say. She'll be getting yeah. a reward for it. She'll, she'll be getting a reward for what? For what? She, 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 she hit herself. She slapped her face and she slapped her chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. And it's saying as well, by the way. And, and, yeah. and, and uh, this is the evidence you use for any. Mata, no, 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 no. But I'm just. I'm just me and. I'm just mentioning. Matam, yeah? No, 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 no. This is the, yeah, yeah, the hadith of Aisha. You're, you're, right, you're right. You follow the sin of Aisha, mashallah. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. It's true. No, 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 no. It's true. It's, what, what are you saying? Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. You're absolutely right. This tradition, yeah. obviously, we don't accept it as evidence. Because, but her but actions, you do. Her actions, but you do. Good job for you. Yeah. You're sad. So that means that her Does she make an annual kind of procession out of it? Every single year? No, no, same time? She doesn't need to. No, no, no. She doesn't need to. At the end of the day, she doesn't need to. There's many acts the Prophet performed once in his lifetime. But still, those acts. You do tarabi every year. So Because he does. That is a separate issue, but you believe Yeah, but our point is the concept is the same. But no, the point yeah. is like, you know about Ijtihad now. Okay, yeah. now, now the Prophet said that for you, Muawiyah is Ijtihad. Muawiyah is a Mujtahid. Okay. The Asul of Fiqh says, if there's a Nas, you can't do Ijtihad. If there's so, a Nas, you can't do Ijtihad. If there's a Nas, if something is Sari, yeah. yeah. clear, yeah. you can't do Ijtihad. So, no, 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 but I think you, you, can't, you can't do Qiyas. La, you can't do Ijtihad on Nas. No, no, I'll give you an example. If Rasulullah well, Obviously, Islam, if I have a Nas in front of me, yes. then I have to do Ijtihad by looking at all no, the evidence. Ijtihad means that you yeah, can't do Ijtihad. Think, you can't bro, derive I, think, I don't think you understand what Ijtihad means. I, 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 I know, know what Ijtihad means. There's five prayers. Can I do Ijtihad and say there's six? No, no. You can't reinterpret it. I can't do Ijtihad on Nas. Do you do Ijtihad of how to pray? Do you know what Nas is? Do you know what Nas is? I know, yes. Let me explain what Nas is. Let me explain what Nas is. There's a lot of technical terms we use it. A lot of technical terms. When there's something clear in yeah. the Quran or Sunnah, let me explain. When there's something clear in the Quran Sharif and the sayings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there is no ijtihad on it. No ijtihad. No. Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Ijtihad in sense... Okay, I'll give you an example. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, pray how many times? Five. If someone goes, I think that means six, what would you say to the person? Now you're going directly against the tradition. You're going, you went against the Nas, yeah, something yeah. what you call unequivocal text. That's what that's you call a, it. That, I, will, I could call a wrong ijtihad. No, that's not Ijtihad. No, that's, 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 that's not Ijtihad. Okay. There, so there is no Ijtihad on the topic. Ijtihad. Ijtihad only on the topic. What does Ijtihad mean um, linguistically? What does it mean? No, 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 you can't. you can't. Asul, no, the ulama of Asul bro, said you can't do Ijtihad on us. Do, 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 do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just it's it's semantics. No, it's it's semantics. He's right. He's right. No, no, it's not semantics. He's Qiyas. He's right. We don't do Qiyas when we have... I feel like we're getting ahead of ourselves. It's just just a little bit. Shall I tell you why? Anyway, You've so accepted the hadith that he was calling them towards hellfire. Things that leads... Yes. No, no, no. His hadith. Fight, his hadith. Fight, anyone who is called, anyone who fights so against. No, no. I'm talking about the hadith. Yeah. Oh, for hellfire, yeah. I'm talking about the hadith. Arabic, yeah? I'm talking about the hadith. Yeah? One second. The nas. Do you, do you, have you been educated Arabic language? I mean, say something like, to what's your point? No, no. What's I'm your point? Okay, 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 let's understand because okay. you go, both of you, you let, let, let's you've through. accepted the hadith, Aki. You've said he was calling so, towards hellfire and you're saying so, he's received reward from it. Well, so, so I don't really need to go on how illogical um, that is. No, no, but let me no, just no, make no, one more point. No, no, I'm saying, you, I'm said saying what, you, you said whatever the companions no, no, you, do listen, to Imam you, Ali. You are using this hadith to say that based upon this hadith, he Muawiyah is in hellfire. Yes. I'm saying no, it's not because we have. I'm saying he was a munafiq. Okay, he's a munafiq. I'm saying look, we have Boba from Nas, Nas, from our books and from your books that establishes that he was a Muslim. We do, I just read okay. from Najib al Agha. And you never Ali, read from Ali. I read, I read. I read he replied to it. I read from, from, listen, I read from Najib al Agha. Ali Rad al He says, like to, we had to fight our brothers in Islam. I would, I would like to ask one more question. Our brothers in Islam. I would like to ask how, do you, how do you answer that? Let me ask you one more question. Answer and answer that, you don't answer me. How does Hassan, radiallahu an, how does he give bayah to Muawiyah? I would like you to ask. How one does more he question. give bayat to Maui? I would okay. like you to ask one more question. Why did he give bayat to Maui? Ask me this. What? He, so if you, you left, left, left Safin. No, 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 no. He didn't. No, it's related. He didn't. He it's, rela it's related. He left Safin. He left Safin. No, no, it's related. I would like to ask you one more question. Oh, Based on, let me, no, no, following no, 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 that. No, no, no. Let me I, ask you one more question. I want to press him on this because he's not answering me. Why did he give bayat to Maui? Answer me. Okay. First of all, the Shia scholars they don't say that he done bayat. It was a sulha. Do you know what sulha is? When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was that bayah? Was a sulha. Was a bayah. Was a bayah. So he didn't do bayah. Of course he didn't do bayah. The opposition is sulha. Did he ever? Do you know what was Noah's Why? Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, why? This why? Why? Now you go somewhere else. No, 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 no. Relax. <laughs> listen. Don't Please listen. Go back to bro, bro. Why did he give up, give up his khilafah? Now he's going to something else. Now he's going to something else. First, he mentioned Sulla. First, he mentioned allegiance. Now you
Imam Ali was the rightful Khalif at that time, according to both schools. Muawiyah fought him. He used the pretext of Uthman's blood. Imam Ali wrote letters to him which says you're using it as an excuse, you don't care about Uthman. And I quoted that to you already. You use the evidence of brother, I quoted that evidence back from Najib Allah that says he said to him, I'm the one who killed your grandparents and you were forced into Islam yes, when yes. the Prophet conquered Makkah. Doesn't make him a munafiq. Imam Ali said. Doesn't okay. make him right, munafiq. Let's move forward. Okay, Imam oh, Ali call him uh, okay. uh, my brother in Islam. No problem. Why what can, why do you skip the hadith? That's fine, that's fine. Why do you skip the, why do you go to one bit of the hadith? Look, He's saying you fought me because of four pretexts. I'm saying, subhanAllah, you have another hadith in Ajib Balagha where he said we had to fight our brothers in Islam. That's fine. He, so they so if he was a monafiq, why, why Ali, an, who had isma, he had infallibility in his, in his knowledge, in his wisdom and everything. He couldn't make any mistakes. Why is it that you know something that he didn't know? If Muawiyah was a monafiq, why did he call him a Muslim? I would like to ask you. I'm a brother in Islam. Why? Question, Explain question. to me why. So the letters, Explain to me the letters why. I just gave you back. The letters, the, letters, the letters I just gave you back. The letters, you gave a letter about Muawiyah. Because whenever you understand the context, everyone writes a letter in the context. Don't take a letter out of context. Um, thank you, you very much. No, you're you're taking a letter out of context. You're, 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 you're taking one statement. Oh, look, he said you're fighting me because of four pieces. You took one. No, 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 no. You took one. No, no, no. No, no, no. Listen, listen. No, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, Ali said, Ali said, clear. Clearly, clear cut. We had to fight our brothers in Islam. That's the default that position. That he's a brother in Islam. No, You're saying no, 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 no. Wait, wait. He said that you fought him because of false pretext. Brother, doesn't it doesn't make you right? It doesn't make him munafiq. Oh yeah, okay, khalas. In worst case, one question. In worst case, can I reply to that? In worst case, that can makes why that? we are wrong in his issue. Can I reply to that? After Imam Ali passed away. Now answer that. Answer that. I am. I'm, I'm, why? Why I'm do you skip it. something clear cut? I'm replying it based on that. I'm replying. You go for the thing with his shubha. You no, know, no, no. We had that. Your shubha. You go. Brother, you are going for the ambiguous. You gave one. You have a clear cut sermon where he said he's the brother in Islam. You go to the ambiguous and said no. Force okay. pretext. Brothers in Islam. Okay. Yes. Explain that. After the war. Leave. Okay. The brothers in Islam. No, no, no. no stick okay, there. Okay. Stick there. Okay. He's sticking. That. So do you want me to quote the letter again to you then? The Which one? Which one? The letter you've quoted in one no, letter. No, stick to the one that I, that so I read. So you another letter then. So what's the point? So, why why so, do you want to so skip that so one? So so your why do you, bye bye. So you, you're okay, to was Ali infallible, yes or no? Oh, you, was he infallible? You know what happened? He was a ma'asum. Okay. Could he make a mistake? No. Thank you. Did did he know whether or not Mawa was a monafiq? Really? Okay. Is a brother in Islam a monafiq? I want to ask you a is question. A brother, is, a, is a brother in Islam a monafiq? I want to ask you a question. Wait, wait, answer my question. I am. Is a You're brother not in speak. Islam. This is what you do every time. You attempt to lose an argument. No, no, I've, it's not no, showing. No, 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 you do this no, every no, time. No, no, I know you do this every no, time. No, 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 You're Zane, preaching. Zane, Let us reply. Zane, Let us reply. Zain, it's very important. Is a Muslim called a brother in Islam? Yes or no? Sorry, is someone who's a monafiq? Do you call him a brother in Islam? Yes or no? Can I respond to that? Yes, go on. Explain. After Safin, I no, want no, to no, ask no. your question. No, ask me. In regards, answer, answer my question. If someone is a monafiq, do we call him a brother in Islam? Can I respond to that point? Oh, but, what the are are you asking my Muslim? point? What the person acting as a Muslim? Then what do you do? Ah, it's a taqiyya. Yeah. He was lying. That's not the key. He was lying. <laughs> Muhammad is acting like he's a Muslim. Okay, so why, wait, 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 wait. Why? So why did Ali call him? Why, 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 why did Ali call him a brother in Islam? The person is acting like he's a Muslim. Do you not get that? He's that's acting that's like what he's you're saying. Yeah. Muhammad is acting like he's Muslim. Hang on, hang on. Did Ali say that? Of him fighting for Ali's proof. I'm did, not the to you. Are did, you in the same circle or not? Bro, can you just want a question? I need to know how many sons Ali has. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, no, let's not go into that. Okay, 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 we'll talk about Muhammad. We'll talk about the sons there. I want to ask one more question. You caught me on Let me ask one second question. I want to ask you one more question. But you don't answer my question, by the way. I'm answering that question. Okay, so you don't answer my question. Post the theme. One more question. What, what is your ruling on anybody who curses? What is your ruling on anybody who curses Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Forget companions. Anyone who curses Muhammad, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a kafir. He's a kafir. Yes. Rasulullah said, "Anyone who curses Ali curses me." Is it? Rasulullah said, "Mustadrak al Hakim." Yes. Sallallahu alaihi Whoever curses Ali curses me. Muhammad has done it. Let's. Muhammad has done it. Muhammad. Proof. I'll give you proof. Let's bring the 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 proof now. Let's bring. Let's bring the proof now. Let's bring the proof. If Muhammad curses Ali, did he? Now did Muhammad curse Ali? Yes or no? Did Muhammad curse Ali after Safin? Prove it. Did he? Yes or no? Prove it. Prove it. I will. No, prove it. What is your ruling if I prove it? Okay. Listen, listen, listen. Bro. Prove it, prove it first, and then, and then. No, no, no. Discuss it. I know no, no. you're going to jump first, as soon as I proved no, no, no. it. So give me your ruling listen, first, and then listen, I'll prove it. Sorry. Let's. Okay. 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 Listen. You, if if you don't want to prove it, 
I let's say, no, let's say, no, no, no. let's I say, prove it. let's say he did curse him. Yes. Let's say it. That, that makes him more nefik, yes? You said it is. No, no. You, you said, said it does. It is. You said it does. No, no, you said anybody is. who curses Prophet Muhammad I'm, is a kafir. I'm saying. I gave you the hadith. I'm, anyone who curses I'm Ali saying, curses me. I'm saying. Is he a kafir? I'm saying that, look, you can always find there. Yeah, you can always find some hadith or something like this that says, look, Muhammad did this. Look, Muhammad did that. Based upon, the, based upon the hadith, the Muhammad said, whoever curses Ali curses me. You can find instances. But look. We take now, all the hadiths in, 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 in abundance and we extrapolate understanding from all the hadiths, not just a single one here and there that you're doing. I'm saying to you this, let's say for argument's sake that Muawiyah did curse Ali. He did. And okay, he instituted let's, the curse. Let's say he did. He let's say both. he did. Why did Ali call him a brother in Islam? In regard, that he cursed him after Safin. How about that? He cursed him after Safi. Yes, he did. He cursed him okay. after Safi. Would Ali, being the infallible, infallible being the infallible he's super power ranger, well, no. he know everything. He's he even knows I when said. he's gonna die. He even know when he's gonna die. No, 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 no. Jumping, the Isma, jumping, no, no. Let's, keep jumping. Let's, let's make this very clear because you understand. He has. I tell you why. I tell you why. Because as she, as you believe in the Isma, the Isma is that the 12 imams no, are infallible no, 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 they know the they know they know the unseen okay. the, so they, they control every atom in the universe but all these the and all these things so Ali would have been we even know when he's gonna die would he have known of the Safin whether or not was cursing would curse him yes or no would he have known it answer my question would he have known it yes or no you keep jumping I'm not jumping bro I'm also I am listen I'm also in your point would Ali, who is an infallible power, so I don't want to. Uh, you are insulting. I'm okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ali, who is infallible, I don't want to Because Ali, we love Ali. And and we just mocked him two minutes ago. Yeah, okay. I apologize. I apologize. So apologize to Ali. Okay. Yeah, no, no, we love Ali, by the way. Yeah? I can see that. I'm saying, according to you, according to you, <laughs> Ali, <laughs> Radiallahu Anh, he was Power infallible. Yeah, Allah, these okay. Power Rangers. No, no, I'm sorry. Stop for Allah, bro. You okay, anyway, 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 carry on, carry on. So, anyway, okay, Ali knew. Ali knew. Ali knew. Would you, wait, wait, wait. You cry for Hussein. You cry for Mari. How's that? No, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. Ba 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 you're laughing. You're laughing. That's why you're laughing. You're laughing. Ali. Allahu Akbar. That's it. Mashallah. That's what I want. I want. I want. Ali. Takbir. La Bayt Ya Hussein. La Bayt Ya Hussein. Safar Allah. Safar Allah. Safar Allah. Hussein never said La Bayt Ya Hussein. Hussein said La Bayt Ya Allah. Ya La Bayt. Yeah, let back your Allah. When you send back to Hussein, this war leads. Okay, okay. One point. One point. Hello, we got into the point. Let me just speak now. Let me speak now. Let me speak now. You said after we discuss Adal to Sahaba, you were going to discuss Tawheed. I want to conclude this topic of Dalat Sahaba. It's finished. I want no, to discuss Tawheed. We're finished. We're talking about. We're just getting there. Two hours. You're running from Tawheed. We are just getting there. For two hours, you've been running from Tawheed. I want you to say to me. For two hours, I. No, 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 no. For two hours, Zayn. I know you're running from Tawheed. I'm not Baba. I know. How can I run from the Shia? How can I, bro? How can I run away from the people? This is Labek Yahu saying Ya Labek. Why we can't Tawheed? You're running from Tawheed. What kind of Tawheed is this? Let's talk about Tawheed. We say Ya Allah. This is Labek Ya Yahu saying. What kind of Tawheed is this? We love. What kind of Tawheed? When you say Ya Ya Ali, we love. We love a man who Malaika loved him. Oh really? Yes. Really. Allah and Malaika. He has to debate Tawheed. No, no. You shook my hand and you said you promised me it's going to be Muslim. I want to debate Tawheed before Maghrib. If you said you would debate. If it's been two hours. Okay, good. Yeah, let's move on. Then, if we do not debate Tahui today, next week. No, no, I want no, no. to debate no, no, Tahui no, no. today. I want to establish this now. Why are you I scared of Tahui? Bro, listen, listen, listen. Yeah. listen. Yeah. Just, we're going to be here all night. It's going to be dark. We are. Yeah. Um, the brother's battery is going to die out anyway. He's yeah. uh, recording. Uh, inshallah, we'll do. By the way, why come you don't release any more films in the next Muharram? The channel. Why no, no. One month. Took a little break, man. One what month. We'll break. Do, what we'll do? up already. What we'll do? Inshallah, if I can, I will try to come with the, the, this yeah. brother That's next time next week. Yeah. I appreciate that. And the other thing we discussed, yeah. we'll talk about that after. Well. Okay, inshallah. No, but say, do we not want to discuss Tawheed today? No, no. I'm no there's no, no time. No, You're going to be here for all night. But he come on, kiss him. I know. I agree with you. It is very important. He gave me his word that he would discuss after. Listen, if if we start Tawheed now. 
We're gonna be at the Isha. No, no, I, I promise. No, no. Give me your word. Give me your word next week. Next we'll week, oh, definitely. Give me your word. It's on week. camera. It's on camera. We do. We do next week. I promise. Don't read next week. Okay, don't read next week. It's on camera. Anyway. No problem. No problem. Ya Allah, you do it in your prayer. You what you ask for? Allah, Muhammad, 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 Muhamm